Hi, I'm Deb Derry, I'm lead physiotherapist for the Northwest Ventilation Team here at Withenshaw. I'm going to talk you through the features of the Cough Assist E70 machine today and how we use that through a tracheostomy. So this is the E70 Cough Assist machine. I'm going to go start from the back and work my way around to the front. Okay, so I'll just turn this machine around here. You can see at the back of the machine there is a power cable. And this just pulls out and pushes in. Just make sure it's pushed in securely so you do get the correct fit. This section here, this is actually a filter and what that does is it just protects the inner workings of the machine. Filter gets removed once a month, just check it, remove it, wash it in warm soapy water and leave it to dry. Once it's dry, just place it back into this point here. Just pushes in like so. So carry hand which I'm lifting this up with now and you can see on the side here this is the port where you attach the tubing to, okay the tubing and the filter. At the front of the machine the main button you need to be aware of is this on off switch, okay. When you press the on off switch it turns the machine on. So you can see here the screen with the cough assist, I'll talk you through the different points of the view. The first thing here you've got is a number and the mode. The number relates to the preset or the memory that the machine's in and I'll talk to you in a little bit more detail about that in a moment or two. There's a section here which says standby, okay, and there's also the settings that we have for the patient, so inhale setting and exhale setting, okay. Always make sure that those settings match the prescription that you, that's been issued to you by the physiotherapist. This other, in the top corner here, you should notice there isn't any symbols, but if you do ever notice that there's a pad, an unlocked padlock, please give us a ring in the Northwest Ventilation team. I mentioned before that the, the cough assist has different memories or presets. We can actually program up to three different preset memories for this machine. Your physiotherapist will identify when you should be using um, the, each preset and in which situation. When you want to change between the different preset memories, you just need to press settings and it will highlight in green preset. To change to, to, the, to the next preset, whether that be one, two or three, press modify and use the edit key to move up or down to your selected preset. So for example, if I want to move to preset two, I'd use the edit key to move up to number two. I press OK to confirm the change and you see now in the corner the mode changes to preset 2 and the mode of use changes as well. I then press finish. If I want to move back to number 1, so preset 1, I would go back to settings, press modify and I use the edit keys to go up or down to number 1. Once I've selected that, I need to confirm that by pressing OK and then press finish. So you notice this is the cough assist tubing that we use to attach onto the patient. Okay. I'll start from the end and we'll work my way down. This section here is a bacterial viral filter. It pulls out and pushes in. It is a little bit fiddly initially to get that in, but it just goes in with it, um, fairly easily once you get the hang of putting it in and out. Bacterial viral filters should be changed at least monthly, um, or for tracheostomy patients, it should be changed on a weekly basis. You can change it more regularly if you need to as well. This, atta this attaches into the tubing. Now this is just standard tubing that we use for cough assist patients. Don't be alarmed if you do get grey tubing sent out through the post. Um, it is exactly the same, it works in the same way, it's just a different manufacturer, that's all. At the other end we have a connection connector piece, which you'll see is here. The connector piece attaches into the tubing and it allows you to attach on the catheter mount and this is what we use when we're delivering cough assist through a tracheostomy tube. The catheter mount just pushes on there. In terms of changing the, the tubing and changing the filters and the, the catheter mounts, you should be directed by the instructions provided to you by your physiotherapist. Typically we do recommend that these catheter mounts are changed on a daily basis, but again that may vary from person to person. 
If you get lots of secretions in the catheter mounts, we recommend it's changed at the end of your treatment session. So you're using the coffices two or three times a day, and you've got secretions stuck in there, change it at the end of each of those sessions. To connect the tubing onto the cough assist, okay, always make sure that we, attack, we have a bacterial filter in place and this should then be attached onto the end of the cough assist machine here. If we push and twist, it locks it in place and it just stops it from coming out as easily. So we're going to start the cough assist treatment now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the device on, like so. You see it comes onto that main screen again, it's still in standby mode. It's always important to check that you're in the right mode that you're delivering the treatment for. So at the moment I'm wanting to use preset one to deliver my treatment. So I check and it's in number one. So I attach the customer onto the tracheostomy machine like so. I'm now I'm going to press the therapy button to start treatment. What you can see, the process is delivering the breath in followed by a breath out. We use the cough assist as prescribed by your physiotherapist for the set number of inhale and exhalation cycles as prescribed by them. What you need to be aware of is that secretions may well come out into the catheter mount. Okay. If that is the case during treatment, simply stop the cough assist device and remove the catheter mount from the patient. Use the anchor suction, suction tube just to clear any secretions that may be in the tracheostomy tube or at the end of the catheter mouth here. And then reattach and we start the treatment again. So at the end of each treatment cycle of cough assist, you may need to suction your patient through the tracheostomy tube, okay? Or alternatively, you may well need to clear secretions from the patient's mouth. If your patient uses a ventilator to help them breathe, it's important that they go back onto that, that machine prior to using the cough assist for another cycle. So your physiotherapist may advise you at the end of your treatment cycles to finish off by giving the patient some deep breaths. If this is the case, you just need to follow the, uh, follow the procedure. Select settings, and you want to move to the preset that you've been informed to use. So in this case, I'm going to use preset two. I to press modify and I use the edit keys again to move to number two. I press OK and I press finish. I check that the mode has, has been moved to preset two, which it has here. And I'll check the inhale and exhale settings match that of the prescription. So I'm going to give you some deep breaths now just to finish off the treatment. And now press the therapy button and you'll see the machine is delivering a breath in. The exhale, the rhythm, and the exhale pressure. At the end of treatment, I now press standby. You disconnect. Okay. okay, so that, that's the end of today's session on cough assist through the tracheostomy tube. Always remember to follow the instructions given to you by the physiotherapist, both in terms of the modes and the frequency of how, and how regularly you should be using the cough assist.